Hey Jolly Babes, so something a little bit different for me, um, normally I kind of just come and I've got all my colour on uh, already, as obviously these are just little pop-on nails that I put on, um, but I actually wanted to show you this um, nail polish, now it's not a gel, uh, it's something that a lovely friend gave me and it, obviously I love it because it's purple, so it's called St Martin's Lane and it is absolutely a gorgeous colour and for a normal nail polish I was actually quite impressed with how it sort of applied because like obviously I'm used to sort of taking my time with gels because it doesn't dry quickly, whereas I found this really really nice it sort of glides on and you've kind of got time to apply it because like especially with fast drying ones you kind of like get to this point and then you go over to do the other side of your nail and it's already dried and then it, you get horrible ridges and it's a nightmare but I actually was really impressed with this for a normal nail polish and I thought um you know this for one coat was a really good coverage as well so just show it together. This, this second one's had two coats, so I was really, really impressed with it. So I just wanted to show you really, sort of give you a little quick demonstration of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the second coat. I will, will be putting a gel top coat over this, which you can do. You just wanna make sure that your nails are completely dry before you do that, else it can kind of wrinkle underneath the lamp if you do it too quickly. So please ignore my gorgeous hollow finger, I can't believe I'm saying that, but it kind of didn't work with the rest of the colours. I had this, it was one of those, you know, you have these fabulous ideas in your head, but it didn't quite work out, so I do change it at the end of the video. <laughs> I'm just being lazy, I couldn't be bothered to sort of record it all again from the beginning. So I'm going to be filling in this gorgeous image off of this plate, and I'm using Sharpie pens, but these are ultra fine. Um, which are great for nail art and I actually got them ages ago and I tried to use them and it didn't work and then I watched a video recently that Swanette did where she used these um, pencil, uh, sorry, pens and she had a paper to hand and every time it kind of went a little bit dry she would squiggle on the paper and then you could just apply it to the nail like so and because they are ultra fine you really can get it in without going over the lines and it's kind of like colouring in which I really love I used to do it, I well I just love it, I think it's really really relaxing and I love the challenge of getting it all done without going over the lines <laughs> So uh, when I did this, it kind of, on the camera anyway, it looked like it basically was just blue and you couldn't see the purple. So hopefully you can see the difference between the purple and the blue. But basically I'm going to go ahead and carry on and apply the colours to the nail. So it's so much more quicker using the Sharpies when you just colour it in and it's dead quick to dry also. So I've got this gorgeous glitter that I have uh, got from Glitter Arty and they're lovely and they're round and they're holographic and they're just gorgeous and it's got some lovely autumn colours in there and instead of using my builder gel somebody asked recently whether they could just apply like a thick layer of gel and I didn't think it would work but I thought I would give it a go and just try it this might be able to to help you guys out if you don't particularly want to spend a lot of money on a builder gel and I'm just placing it into the nail. Now obviously because it's gone on quite thick, you kind of need to just fill your nail with the glitter completely in the one go. You're not going to be able to kind of build up the layers, so you can't quite have the encapsulated effect. But you can apply the glitters on here and know that they're not going to sort of ping off because they kind of sink into the um, the top coat. And just these gl this glitter is so gorgeous. So this is like... A blinky <laughs> I think and I found a good way to apply these is like to use a brush that's so like a little bit wet on the ends it kind of picks it up really well so hopefully you can see all the different colors that are going on with these glitters they are gorgeous and then I'm applying a top coat over the top and obviously you just want to try and make it as thin as possible because this it is quite a bit thicker doing it this way than with the builder gel so I'm wiping off the tacky layer before I get my buffer and you really want to sort of try and get the layers down so it's not like a dead thick nail. Don't worry about it ruining or you know dulling the effect. As soon as you put top coat over the top the sparkle comes straight back. 
okay? And then this is another nail polish that my friend gave me and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of like a glitter ombre or glitter fade or something like that, whatever you want to call it. And we all know that you don't apply this directly to your nail anymore, thanks to Simply Nail Logical. You use the sponge, which soaks up all the excess liquid, and then you get so much more better um, glitter coverage. Okay, so that's after the one coat. So I'm just gonna probably just apply two coats. But obviously you apply as many layers as you want, you know, for the desired look. And I really should have put some liquid latex around my nails <laughs> before I did this. Okay, so that's how I'm going to leave it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply my gel top coat as well. Okay, so now I've obviously changed the other nail. I just think that the it kind of went with the colours better. I think there was just too much going on with the hollow, with the stamping, with the blinky. It was just too much in my opinion. So I really like this look. I think it's gorgeous for autumn. It's got a lovely, rich feel to it and fairly simple to achieve as well. And I really hope that my jelly babes like it. Thank you so much for coming and checking out this tutorial. Please like, comment and subscribe and you can do that by clicking in the top bottom right corner right now. And until next time, bye jelly babe.